Hi, here we are at Kaya Loco. We're on our last day. We've been here 14 days and we're just showing you the beauty of this place. It's a fantastic view. It's probably the, one of the best views we've ever seen and we're going to try and be fair in this review and give you the pros and cons and definitely the pro of this is the fantastic location. Um, that's the biggest pro. Uh, we'll show you the front of Cayo Loco. <coughs> Beautiful Caribbean style. Um, as we go through the front door, <coughs> you'll see it's a four foot door. <coughs> and I would open this door, but for 14 days, I haven't been able to open it because it hasn't been opened in a year and according to the owner, Alan, no one's complained. So, um, unfortunately, this is a big disappointment for us because, um, you know, you're on a Caribbean holiday and an even bigger disappointment is you can't carry two drinks in your hands as you walk through the door, so you have to go sideways. So, as we move into the main area, Beautifully done, there's two day boots here. <clears throat> As a previous reviewer on the website said, it would be a nice to have a lounge or some kind of seating area there rather than day beds. <clears throat> Good electronics, there's a DVD player, TV, and satellite system. Um, uh, <clears throat> over in the kitchen, uh, what we did like was the two candles that are electric and you switch on, that's great. Um, dishwasher. Fantastic. Um, and if you look over here, this is your selection of glasses and tumblers. Um, the dishwasher's got some plates and, and plastic cups in it, so you're not seeing everything. But uh, these are the only glass glasses you can use for drinks. Yet. Everything else is plastic, which, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, they would be better served to have whiskey glasses and so on because although plastic is great the uh, glassware would be easier and better this is the sink concrete is great if it's done properly and professionally and looks good but it's actually pretty rough and uh, you know this is definitely not the, the best concrete I've seen done now we move over to the extensive pantry as I mentioned in the uh, website well I don't know if you find that extensive but I certainly don't and if you look closely at most of what's there they're actually almost empty so we had to buy a whole lot of our own stuff to use it even the salt if you look at the salt I mean you come to a place you pay three thousand dollars for two weeks and you get the first thing you got to do is go and buy salt um, the other thing you'll notice is how difficult things to get to. The coffee is far in the corner there. I had to get a chair to use it for the first time this morning. Um, and then if you move over here to the glass and plates and so on, all the plastic stuff is here. We didn't use any of those. The only glassware is on the top shelf, so you have to get a chair to get that. But Alan and Maureen were very kind enough to leave us a bottle of wine, but there's actually no wine glasses, only the plastic. Here's the microwave, the smallest microwave I've seen. The only plate that they have here that will fit in there is, is this one. The other two sizes of plates you can't use in the microwave. And um, that's it for the kitchen. Here's the main bedroom. Um, pretty standard. Uh, with all the windows, they're actually all pretty difficult to open, and Alan said he's replacing some of them next year, but uh, tricky to open some of these windows. You'll notice the hurricane shutters, so those are permanently there. There's nothing you can do about it, so you do lose some of the view. Um, there is a safe in here. Do you want to show the closet space? There's a safe, um, and here's your shelving. It's, it's acceptable for the kind of holiday we're on here. Here's the bathroom. Uh, the other big plus with this place is the shower facilities. 
very nice and uh, no problems with hot water we thought this was great um, the the rusted lights over the vanity I mean you know to me that's a bit ridiculous right if you're gonna charge what we paid you really should have reasonably good fittings um, and then you'll see on another portion of the video the unit next door and the only thing I haven't mentioned is uh, this is probably the hardest bed we've ever slept on it was fine for two or three days but by night 14 it's, 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 it's like concrete so we've both got back cake because of that And that's it. <clears throat>